and you are back, Mr. Broadnax. We are going to go ahead and hear opening statements. So, prosecution, you may proceed. Facts are clear. The evidence is clear. The defendant sold drugs to an undercover police officer and was promptly arrested for it. That's the facts. That's what the evidence will show. That is what the testimony will show. It is clear cut. The defendant made her bed. Let's make her lie in it. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is J.B. Fitzgerald, and I am representing the Commonwealth along with my co-counsel, Dar Brodnax. Today, we have brought a number of drug-related charges against the defendant, Doris Day, including possession of a controlled substance with an intent to distribute. We have the testimony of Officer Don John, who will come in here today and tell you that he was working as an undercover bartender at the Shadow Bar. He was undercover there because this bar had a reputation for drug, being a drug market. He also tell you that while he was there, he investigated someone in particular, the defendant, Doris Day, who had a reputation as a drug dealer. The undercover officer will get on the stand and he will tell you that while he was working undercover, he asked the defendant point blank, do you know where I can get some coke? Defendant, obliged. She's fine with it. She says, yes, I got you. Defendant comes to the undercover officer, gives him a packet of a white substance, which a crime lab technician will testify, tested positive for cocaine. And the undercover officer gave the defendant a $100 bill, a simple but illegal transaction. The evidence will also show that this $100 bill actually has some significance here. This wasn't just any random $100 bill. You see, Officer Don John will tell you that they had actually written down the serial number of this $100 bill. They knew this dollar bill, they separated from any other $100 bill, and that when they arrested the defendant, they found this exact same $100 bill, the same pre-marked one, in the defendant's possession, in her purse. We have the evidence in the form of the cocaine that was recovered. We have the $100 bill. We have the testimony of a crime lab analysis, crime lab technician, and we have the testimony of the undercover officer. The facts are clear. The defendant sold drugs to an undercover officer. Now, as the government, we took on a burden. We had to prove each of our elements beyond a reasonable doubt. And at the end of this trial, my co-counsel, Dar Brodnax, is going to ask you to bring back a verdict of guilty once we have proven these elements beyond a reasonable doubt. But the key word there is reasonable. It's in their language. It does, this burden we have, we don't have to prove our case beyond all shadow of a doubt, beyond every possibility. We only have to prove that there is no reasonable doubt as to the defendant's guilt. And I submit to you at the end of this trial, there will not be a reasonable doubt. Thank you.